So the Florida Panthers advanced to the Stanley Cup Finals last night, sweeping the Carolina Hurricanes in Game 4 with a 3-2 victory with 4 seconds left thanks to Matthew Kachuk. We'll talk about him later in this video. And as some of you may be wondering, the superstition, superstitious people, did they touch the Prince of Wales trophy? And the answer is yes, they did. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't think there should be a superstitious thing about that. You fought hard and you've earned your way to get to where you are now at the Stanley Cup Finals. I think everyone... I think everyone should touch the conference trophies. I don't think that should be a superstition. But it is what it is, I guess. But, yeah. the For the Panthers, man, this playoff run that they are on has been amazing and crazy. I mean, you talk about it barely making the playoffs to now in the Stanley Cup Finals. It's just insane. And one guy who's been absolutely unreal for the Panthers has been Sergei Bobrovsky. I mean, what can you say about him? He has been on a never level for the Panthers, and he is one of the reasons that they've gotten this far. He has now stopped 67 consecutive shots in 110 of his last 111 faced. Unreal, insane man. Another guy who's been very clutch all playoffs and all series long, Matthew Kachuk. He had three game winning goals in this series, including two in overtime. And he's just been a beast for the Panthers this whole playoffs. And it's just crazy how how many game winning goals he's scored or big goal uh big goals in big clutch moments. He's you can call him Mr. Clutch for sure. Also with his game winner last night he Matthew Kachuk's game winner with five seconds left in regulation was tied for the latest series clinching goal in Stanley Cup playoffs history. So there you go, he's making some playoff history there. Uh tied for the latest series clinching goal in Stanley Cup playoffs history. That's pretty insane, man. Four seconds left. And here's his goal from last night that sent the Panthers to the Stanley Cup Finals. Take a look. And another crazy thing to look at is look at the top four teams here in the regular season standings that the Panthers had to play. First round, they took out the number one Bruins, who were the top team all season long. Second round, they took out the Leafs, who were the fourth best team all year. And the conference finals, they take out the Hurricanes, who were the second best team all season. And then, so you're talking three of the top four teams they took out. And now look where the Panthers finished. 17th, like I said, barely even made the playoffs this season. And now they're in the Stanley Cup Finals. It's crazy, man. But what a run this has been for the Florida Panthers. And most people are going to say this is this has been a weird playoffs this year. And I would agree. A lot of the top teams are out. 
Uh, the Bruins are out. The Lightning are out. The Avalanche are out. Seattle, a lot of very good teams. So this will be a weird Stanley Cup Finals, but it's going to be a really interesting Stanley Cup Finals too, especially if Vegas wins tonight, which we'll see the results of that. Vegas could sweep the Dallas Stars tonight at the time I'm recording this, May 25th, 2023. So we'll see if that happens. And if that is the case, this will... Both teams that never won a Stanley Cup will be in the finals. So it's been a crazy run for the Panthers, and we'll see if they will end up taking it all. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.